The knife tool is a great tool for cutting through outlines that are opened as well as closed and through filled objects so they can be edited individually. You can use the knife tool for many types of objects, including applique and lettering. When there is an object selected, the knife will only cut the selected object. When there is nothing selected, the knife will cut all objects that the knife passes through. You draw the line with left or right clicks through the object or objects you wish to cut, then press Enter to activate the cut. The resulting objects are reordered in a way that preserves the original objects, entry, and exit points. Objects can then be edited individually and reshape can be applied if necessary. With nothing selected, I can use the knife, and the knife is found in the Edit Toolbox, to cut through all of these outlines. By holding the Control key and doing two left clicks, the line will be straight through those outlines. Click again and then press Enter to activate the cut. Press Escape and you'll see that every type of outline has been split in two. Press Escape to make sure that nothing is selected because if I select this line and cut through with my knife and press Enter, this object will not be cut. So if you press Escape to make sure nothing is selected, and then select the knife. The knife tool can use a series of left and right clicks, and you can get some interesting cuts through objects. For this rectangle, I'll use a series of left and right clicks. Pass through the object and press Enter, and you'll see that the object has been cut. Press Escape to deactivate the knife, and draw a box around the top part of the object. You can use the arrows on your keyboard to move the object. Then you can apply different kinds of fills. For the knife tool to work with applique, it has to be broken apart twice. I'll select the applique and click on Break Apart in the Edit Toolbox. Reselect the applique and then click on Break Apart again. Now the knife can be used. Select the knife, click on the left side of the applique, hold down the control key to keep the line straight, click again, and press enter. You'll see in color film that the objects have been broken into two separate pieces. You can drag a bounding box around the top part of the applique and move it. I'll press T on the keyboard and you can see that this is a jump stitch and the line has actually been cut. The applique can then be selected and you can go to the edit menu and close the curve with a straight line or a curved line. You can use the knife tool to cut through lettering to create a split monogram as you see here. One other use for the knife tool is when changes of direction are necessary for an object. In this satin stitch object that was created with auto digitizing, the satin fill does not lend itself to stitches that will work in this object because they're too long. Likewise, adding multiple angles to the object won't work either because the direction would need to change in awkward ways. By using the knife tool, the object can be split into two separate pieces. Press Enter to activate. This part of the object can be selected and then stitch angles added. Stitch angles can then be added across the other part of the object. It is best to also create a slight underlap so that there will not be a gap when it stitches. So you can see there are many uses for the knife tool.